next BPPV related testing maneuver we're going to review is a supine roll test. So for this test, the patient lies supine on their back, keep their head elevated 30 degrees. It's important to maintain that elevation at 30 degree elevation throughout the test. So don't let the head sag as you do the test. Okay. And I do this usually in standing. I don't sit for this. It's just easier. So we're going to turn your head to the right 60 degrees, Gretchen, okay? Ready? Go ahead and turn the head and look right at the tip of my nose. So it's a right roll test. You want the head turned over about 60 degrees. Wait for the nystagmus to play out, plus some recovery time. Make sure the nystagmus is completely stopped before you go to do the test um, to the left. Most that do a supine roll test, and the way it was written is to pause here in the middle, wait for nystagmus to stop, and then do your left supine roll test, turning the head 60 degrees to the left. Again, eyes on my nose. Wait for the nystagmus to play out, plus some recovery time. And then you come back to the middle again. And you want to do several cycles and compare left to right. It's very important to discern if the nystagmus is stronger with right ear dependency or stronger with left ear dependency with the test. If their nystagmus is, appears weak and brief, then you just might want to do the roll test by turning ahead 60 degrees to the right and then not pausing in the middle, going right over to the left without pausing, may evoke stronger nystagmus. So that's an alternative way to do the test. One other alternative is if you have, if you're working with an individual that has reduced cervical range of motion, you can have the patient do a log roll. So bend up your left leg briefly and just roll like a log to your right. Turn over, good, and I can get her head over that 60 degrees at least over to the right without placing strain on her cervical spine by just rolling the body. So that's another alternative way to do the test is just log rolling the entire patient. Mm -hmm.